His face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of counterfeiting. Justice and revenge have been served. That's kind of harsh for counterfeiting. This man was hung for the crime of thievery. Justice and revenge have been served. All men. This man was hung for the crime of murder. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of arson. Justice and revenge have been served. This man was hung for the crime of swindling. That's very harsh for swindling. Justice and revenge have been served. This doesn't feel like justice. Not to me. No justice. I guess they're hanging from the ceiling. Or on some kind of post. Oh no. So there are six nooses instead of six bodies. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. The next one with his smile and sweets, Stole poor children off the sweets, off the streets, to men who dressed unsavory. He sold them into slavery. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale. Woken the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain he was undone when the ink he'd used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses into ashes burned the sheriff, with no place to turn, Did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men swinging in a tree, 
How many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide. Round their necks the noose be tied. Well, this is some kind of riddle. So the in order, the nooses I discovered were for kidnapping, counterfeiting, thieving, um, murder, arson, and swindling. So from this riddle or story, I guess I got to decide which man is innocent. So which person is innocent of what they're accused of? So this must be murder. That's definitely a capital punishment. This must be the kidnapping, kidnap kids. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morn in the county jail. So, so, the thief, the thief he broke into a house, but that's, that's breaking and entering. That's not a capital punishment, especially since he was not successful in stealing anything except for the, the ale. So I guess the thief shouldn't be hanged. The counterfeiter, I guess back in the day that was a capital punishment. That must be the swindling, it's the guy stealing the gold. So basically like a, a Bernie Madoff type person. This must be arson. Three houses into ashes burned. So the sheriff... Basically took a stranger and locked him up and beat him down. So I, I don't know of these who's innocent between the thief or the arsonist. Uh, to me, for that arsonist, you can't just grab somebody off the street and throw them in jail and convict them you, you gotta have the burden of proof is on the accuser so if it was me i would not let him hang so let's see what the guide says yeah it looks like I'm right. At least I hope I'm right. So this is the... In the other room, this was the arsonist's rope. Yeah, back, you know, the U.S. isn't a very old country, but it basically it used to be our legal system had a lot of protections. You know, you had innocent until proven guilty and yada, 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 all from English common law. But in practice, you know, in most places, the police would torture people until they confessed. And that was kind of like a dark side of the legal system, really until, like, the end of the 1800s almost. The wall on paper, you had a lot of rights. Um, in practice, you know, rights were inconvenient. 
And then it was only once they started really requiring that burden of proof that um, you had evidence like fingerprints and stuff like that that came to be actually used. I got the key of the persecuted. So according to that article I read earlier, this is in like the 1800s or whatever, this prison or whatever the heck. 